So today's video is coming to you live from the cabin in the woods. We are in an all log cabin, which is so, so cozy. Though, spoiler alert, the astute amongst you, if you can hear that, we're not in the woods, we're actually by the seaside. And where there is sea, there are seagulls. So hopefully it doesn't pick up too much, but yes, I've changed scenery, decided to go for a little weekend getaway in the UK, which is really nice. I've not really done that before. And actually this log cabin is super, super cozy. But anyway, this whole breakdown of how my weekend is going is not what you came to this video for. No, you came to see what I really did pack in my Chanel shopping tote. Now, just as a bit of a recap, in case you haven't yet watched the video unboxing, I bought this bag, pre-loved, even though it was basically not used, it had all the sticks on it, from Osaka, a city in Tokyo, and I got it for a steal of a price, my peeps. And it's a big boy bag. I mean, look how big it is, how much obviously it fits. There are spilling over of belongings happening right about now. It's one of my more practical designer bags, least of all Chanel. It even has feet on it. It's pretty full to the brim. I usually wouldn't fill it up this big if I was going to work, but because we just drove to the seaside, I just dumped this bag in the back seat and, you know, carrying it from the car door to the actual cabin door is not too bad. So just a little bit of a caveat, I'm not just like trying to ruin my precious bag. On the top we have what I would, you know, usually place on top here or sometimes if my bag allows and doesn't droop, I will hang on my trusty Bose headphones. So these are, I believe, is it the 300? Oh, well, actually, I think they're the 700s. Can't seem to make up my mind, but I've had these now for, I want to say, three, four years and they have not disappointed me. I've just replaced the cups once because leather over time or fake leather, it tends to wear, it looks kind of manky, but you can replace these very easily for like 10 pounds or something. These look basically brand new despite me having them for many, many years and wearing them for runs and workouts and planes and trains and all kind of other events in rain and shine. So I highly rate these. Bows do great it's noise cancelling wireless headphones. I like these because the little in-ear ones, one, I never can get them to fit my teeny tiny shaped ears, and two, I think they're a little bit gooey and gunky, especially if you wear them for working out. Um, so I don't like to put them directly in my ear. So over ear is great, also for comfort as well. I will keep using them literally until they break. So these are always in my bag. Next up in the bag, well, let's just pull out the snack that I have here, Nature Valley Bar. Your girl's always hungry, so it's better she brings a snack than not. And usually I'm the very kind soul who donates a snack to someone who I'm with who is hungry, which is usually my boyfriend. And then I'm gonna bring out some cool gadgets actually, because I should have mentioned in the preface of this video, I, I think this might be interesting, but also helpful inspiration for some of the cool gadgets that I personally think I have. I know, humble queen, but seriously, I wish I found these gadgets earlier than I did, so I do want to share them. And one of such gadgets is my red pill. Haha. Uh -huh. This red pill has saved my skin more than once since I bought it, and we're in the UK, so of course this is a very common thing to happen, that you are stuck without an umbrella. And I actually bought this and a bunch of other goodies, which I will specify so that you know, from a website called Temu, T-E-M-U. Let me know down in the comments if you've heard of them or bought from them before, because I hadn't, but I saw online, you know, a bunch of ads, also some influencers that I follow reviewing the brand, and they're legit guys. They do produce quality items, and actually I found a lot of Amazon items are actually bought from marketplaces like Timu, but they create also good gadgets. This tiniest umbrella, it's literally, this is the palm of my hand and this is the umbrella. And look, I'm not particularly superstitious, so I will open this to show you how big this is. It's not the biggest thing. You know, my boyfriend and I tried to huddle under this once um, when it was raining pretty bad last week and it barely worked, okay? So someone might get sacrificed, but look, it's a good option if you're just going from your house to work and, or to a social or something. It does the job and it's small, it's practical. And they do all kinds of other colors. I think this was like three pounds. I'm not even joking. Like. It's crazy when you think of the markup that places like Amazon will make 
despite the fact that you can, as a consumer, go direct to the suppliers because essentially Timu is a marketplace and this is not an ad, by the way. It's not a, it's just, I guess it's a free promo because their quality of goods is pretty solid. Okay, so now let's move on to the other item that I see next. This is my Louis Vuitton key pouch six ring holder. And I've had it literally, I think for eight years, maybe more at this stage. And it's almost immaculate. We do not have much cracking of the canvas. I mean, we've got some discolorations here, but actually what's really funny, slight tangent. My boyfriend actually got a Louis Vuitton wallet like two, almost two years ago. And his wallet has cracked in terms of the canvas on the sides quite severely and look i know boys put the wallets in their back pockets and all of that opening and closing this one however the piping is still immaculate given the age of it and how often it's been used and obviously i like to keep my keys organized not jingle jangling and you know especially in a luxury bag you don't want them to be like swiping on your bag and damaging it now let's pick out a big piece of tech right now and i've actually just bought this i'm so happy i've been using this non-stop and this is my Technically not new, but for me, new laptop. I've got a very cool cover and actually, why not just pull out the other item that matches? This is basically the covers. Again, no surprise, are also from Timu. Super inexpensive, I think. Both of these came as a set for 15 pounds or something crazy like that. This is basically a MacBook Air. I have already a MacBook Air and a Pro, but they're pretty old. I don't really update my tech very often. If the tech works, why fix it? So I've had my laptops now for, oh my gosh, I think they're like 2017 or 15 models, probably even earlier. So yikes, they're pretty old, but I thought best to upgrade now. So I bought a spec'd out MacBook air from a refurbished website and it's called hoxton max and look i'm by no means a tech expert we're not marcus brownlee over here in all seriousness i've really enjoyed that website it has got the state of the art max and just apple products for a fraction of the price you can choose the condition you can choose the specifications if they have them in stock you can sign up to their alerts and they also do frequent price reductions which i think is awesome and i picked out the cutest but also most functional laptop and you can see in this sleeve here my beautiful oh, that's upside down but my beautiful rose gold macbook air it's an m1 so 2020 2021 i did so much research on this laptop and it does everything that i need it to do and more it's got crazy storage i think it's got 16 gigs of ram and one terabyte of storage which is a humongous upgrade from my MacBook Air, which I think has eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. There's grubby marks all over this because I'm still waiting for my um, case, my shell case to come. That's why I got this sleeve to come and match. And this one, obviously I like marble at the moment. I'm just into marble quite recently. Um, even my phone is marble. In fact, let me just show you my phone, which would also be in the bag, but let's assume it wasn't, uh, that I've just taken it out now for illustrative sake. I also wanted my laptop to be free from scuffs and whatnot. It's an excellent condition. It's basically brand new from the store, but I want to keep it that way. And so that's why I got that sleeve. And I also, it came with this little pouch, which actually has my pink mouse, which is also from Timu. You can say what you want about CCP and whatnot, but they make good products. And a lot of the products that you own are from China. So go figure. So while we're on the tech hype, let's go through some more items associated with the laptop. And of course, every content creator or just normal person who has a lot of stuff, <laughs> hoards photos and videos and things, will need an external hard drive. It's got my little cables and everything like that uh, in it. And obviously it's like smash resistant as well. And I think it might be waterproof resistance, which is also cool. And I think that's also a trait of the sleeves, which is great. And then I have I think the coolest gadget that I've ever come across, and sorry, this is also from Timu, just full disclosure. And it's this cute little, what well, looks like a little handbag, right? But it is not a handbag. It is a cable adapter. The MacBook Air only has two USB-C ports, which is not that practical. My old MacBook Air had multiple ports, even had an SD card slot, which honestly chef's kiss obviously it's an air so it needs to be slim and i know they want to make you upgrade to like the macbook pros which do have all the ports and then some 
but you know I wanted the small form factor but I didn't want to compromise on the ports so I did buy myself this very cool adapter or hub whatever you want to call it look how many ports it's got it's got four usb here which a lot only have like two it's got hdmi it's got another kind of ethernet port here i think that is micro sd slot you've got a usb c slot for your charger for example for your macbook and then you've got your sd card slot which is perfect for when i'm creating content on the go and then this cable just goes back in on itself which is great because that means the cable won't fray and it won't get stuck in like liquids or any other stuff but also you could literally hang this little handbag on your actual handbag it basically also inadvertently acts as a cable extender which in my case in this cabin there's not a lot of plugs and actually my macbook charger the cable is not really that long so this actually even though it's only this amount and it's puny by comparison still extended it enough by which it was very comfortably able to stretch so i absolutely loved it and so far so good and when it turns on and it's connected this lights up blue light so cute now let's move on i got an external battery in this bag because obviously we need to charge our phones and other portable devices so we've just got a very simple anchor one they are the best quality i've literally had this for what feels like a decade may also be a decade and it's not failed me once and you can do two of usbs in here which is great and then we just got a pink iphone cable which i didn't realize now everything is pink and now just to finish off the tech stuff i think at least we've got surprise surprise my macbook air charger which is a little bit of a mess it doesn't really fit in that little pouch then let's do something a little bit more fun and obviously quintessentially luxury and we have have Chanel sunglasses my favorite thus far I must say it's so retro it's so Hollywood old glamour which let's be honest far cry from what we're actually seeing in 2023 but I absolutely love it so much and you know super durable as well it doesn't have the nose holders which impress marks on your nose especially if you have makeup oh it's a mess this one doesn't my only gripe is that the case is like this weird fabric-y material which feels cheap it's also attracted so much lint to it that i can't even begin to tell you how much it annoys me and also if you've got makeup on your hands or something which thankfully at the moment i don't so we don't have any grubby marks but that is also a big risk with this i just feel like they should have gone with the typical leather cases which i did have in my other pair of chanel sunglasses as well as other designer brands but what's on the inside more than compensates for it at this moment in time Let's do another Chanel item actually that I see staring at me and it is my wonderful trusty Chanel wallet. It's in the beautiful pearly iridescent colour way that was super in demand. Who remembers the Chanel minis and the flat bags that were in this very same colour way? So you can do cards, uh, notes and also coins at the back because it also has a coin pouch, godsend honestly. Uh, because you know what? I like having cash. It makes me really psychologically, and I know, I know there's probably tons of studies on it. If I feel the cash, I will be less likely to overspend than if it's just cards or contactless, God forbid. In moderation, because I don't want to be like Japan, carrying around all these tiny little coins. We've been there, done that. But I do think it's important to have cash and to have a wallet like that. We have my favourite MAC Studio Fix Powder Compact. I only use this compact as long as they keep making it in this specific formula I'll keep buying it and look we touch pan people it mattifies but without making my face look super flat and obviously it has color you know if my foundation is too light this will darken it if it's too dark this will lighten it it's perfect now on to some other I guess self-care stuff got a little hand cream here well we've got a Bayless and Harding Royal Garden and Rose I think this was you know when you get gifts for Christmas or birthdays that are always like hand cream soaps and whatnot I try and spread them out in, front, in my bags because I get a lot of those so this is one of them we've got this little panda which is from spoiler alert Tahimu though let me know by the way because I've made a cheeky orders on their website if you would want to see an unboxing of some of their items in real time so this is not just cute decoration but this actually has 50 pieces i think of portable soap papers so we've got what looks like almost like a rice paper and oh my god it smells it smells artificial not gonna lie but it's like gum you know when you go on holiday and you go to a public toilet and you go to wash your hands and there's no soap 
Well, this bad boy will stop it because basically each piece of paper, when it touches contact with water, it foams up and it creates a lather so that you can wash your hands. How awesome is that? I think that's probably a little bit better than doing hand wash. I usually bring antibacterials. I don't think in this bag, spread them across, dot them around my handbags. But honestly, I feel like it dries out your hands, number one. You're more prone, therefore, to cracking skin. But also, number two, I just don't think it's great to have constant alcohol, which obviously is the disinfectant, right, on your hands all the time, especially during the COVID times. I think it just, yeah, it's just not very great for your skin. It goes through your bloodstream, doesn't it? So I think that's a nicer alternative and super cute. Then, given we're on hygiene, I've got this very cute boots um, tissues, which I think were for children. I just like cartoons, okay? I like cute stuff. I've got this little love heart, again, from Timo. I think from first glance, you might think this is quite a pointless thing, but this is actually a rape alarm. Should I pull it? I'm not sure. I'll pull it. It's basically a little bird, okay? It's not the loudest thing. It probably sounds louder to you than it does actually to me listening to it, but like, no one likes attention, especially if they're trying to rob you or something, but it's an option. Invest in self-defense, I shall sure have. Now to the next item, and thankfully this one's not from Timu, is a carrier bag, a portable carrier bag. It's got a little handbag pouch by which the carrier bag comes out. And look, it's a huge thing, my peeps. I actually got this from Japan and it's a humongous carrying bag from Crayon Shin Chan or my Chinese peeps, Labi Xiaoxian. I used to grow up watching it and I know all the quotes. I still watch it time to time just to keep up my childhood nostalgia and also my Chinese as well but look it's a very practical bag not just cute and I love that one it's you know fashion and function and nostalgia all in one I will not pay for a carrier bag I am that kind of person I get kind of annoyed not gonna lie when people still buy carrier bags when I'm thinking you know one it's a waste of money it accrues over time and not in a good way like an interest or something but two you have all the stuff at home. Like, just don't be lazy. Just put one in your car, in your pocket or whatever. I mean, I usually carry the strawberries, if you know, then you know. Um, but you can get them on eBay and things like that uh, super easily. And I don't know why I just put that back. We're just taking that out. The last literally two items, I think. Yep, just rooting around, making sure there's nothing stuck. We've got a final piece of food, an apple gummy. I think I got this one from Hong Kong, it's quite old, so I don't know if that's still edible, but you know, sugar keeps things from rotting easily, doesn't it? And it's full of sugar, so there you go. Last but not least, we have this freebie pen that I think we got from a hotel in Poland when we went to Krakow for my birthday. And I like it because it's a very teeny pen. It can also perch, it twists so the ink won't fly everywhere. That is my whole handbag, completely empty. This bag is a Mary Poppins bag, it can fit a lot. So hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what similar shopping totes, GSTs, will fit inside. Let me know what your favorite item was down below or if there are any other things that I should pack in the comments. And thank you as always for watching. I will catch you in the next one.